Asian in Greater Rats. And now introducing the 1986, the 1987 Canton Invader. Goalkeeper number double zero, Jamie Swatter. Goalkeeper number one, Bill Namowski. Forward number seven, Don Tobin. Forward number eight, Randy Pikasinski. Forward number nine, Art Kramer. Midfielder number 10, Magic Celeste. Forward number 11, Steve Frick. Forward number 12, Steve Moyer. Defender number 14, Tim Tima. Defender number 21, Oscar Pizzano. Forward number 23, Rudy Pigalinski. Forward number 29, Steve Maurer. And the head coach of the Canton Invaders, number four, Trevor Duncan. St. Louis product who has played against uh, Kramer and Maurer before. Glenn Irvine starts on defense along with Janos Mahalik. Amlong, a forward with Louisville last year, made the all-star team, suffered a knee injury that they thought was going to end his career. He had retired, and just uh, last week, Keith Tozer able to talk him into coming back. He appears to be healthy. Scored a goal in his first outing with Louisville in the game against Toledo, and uh, He's back with the Thunder. There's Mike Paxos with a steal at midfield. Ball knocked away by Hayes. Taken back by Paxos. Pa Hayes rides him off, but Rudy Pikasinski with a deflection. and clears out to midfield. And Gary Amlong with it on the left side there. Don Tobin on defense for Canton. And they back it up to uh, Mahalik. Mahalik in the Louisville defensive zone on the left side. Pikasinski on deep. Now red line feed to Glenn Irvine. Up the right side, Mahalik. It's Amlong at the Canton red line. Tobin picks him up off the defense. Now Tima switches off, and Timmy takes the ball away in the corner and drops it in the goal box for Bill Namoski. Namoski holds on to the box. Short out, but on the right side to Tim Tima, who came out of the soccer ball during the warm-ups with a Cleveland Browns jersey on. Somebody baked cookies for all the guys tonight that must have been a Browns fan. There were cookies all iced uh, with each guy's name on them, shaped like dog bones that Rudy Pikasinski brought down in the locker room. Kia posted up front. He shoots. He scores! Kia drills it into the lower left side of the net and beats Victor Petroni. And one minute and ten seconds into the first period, the Invaders have the lead, one to nothing. Kia picks up his 16th goal of the season. And Don Tobin picks up his 15th assist on the year. The Invaders lead 1-0. Kia from Tobin at the 110 mark in period one. Paul Cato, Saeed Bakhtiari for Louisville. Bad pass was intended for Helen Camp. Taken away by Tomo Kondrich. Long lead. They want Steve Moyers. He leaves it. Maurer had the ball knocked away by Paul Cato. Cato with a move around Kramer, but it's knocked back by Kondrich. Maurer tries to put it in, and it's cleared out by... Saeed Bakhtiari, now Zoran Savic at midfield, left side feed, they got Gabera, missed him down the side of the box, and Tomo Kondrich controls for the Invaders. 
Canton one, Louisville nothing on the key of goal just a minute, 10 seconds into the game. And coming up the floor with it is Oscar Pisano for the Invaders. Now Art Kramer, midfield. Right side, it goes to Pisano and back in the goal box to Namovsky. Billy outside the arc, coming out to the red line. He crosses it. No need to worry about the three-line violation now. Pushes ahead in the Louisville zone, left side to Moyers. Now midfield to Art Kramer. 12.57 to go in the first quarter. Kramer dumps it ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer taps it back to Condrich. Condrich dumps it down, left point area to Moyers. Moyers around back to Yari, crosses with Kramer. Artie around one man down in the left corner, trying to get inside of Helen Camp, back to the net. Double teamed by Cato. He gets it outside to Maurer. Maurer had the ball stripped away by Savick and Cato. Louisville on the attack, three on three. Cato through the midfield circle. Maurer with a deflection, picked him clean. Here come the invaders the other way. Three on two attack. Maurer pushes right side to Kramer. Kramer around Helen Camp. He shoots, he scores! Puts the invaders up two to nothing. They had a pretty break on the steal by Maurer, and he dribbled around. Kramer got position on the right side. The feed from Maurer, and Artie drilled it. And the time of the goal is 2:38, and Louisville wants timeout to try to sort things out. The invaders have jumped out on top to an early two to nothing lead. We'll be back in just a moment. 600 volunteers. to an early lead on Louisville. Two contest quarters tonight. I neglected to mention the second and third periods tonight will be our contest quarters. Glenn Irvine off the kickoff for Louisville. Former Invader, former Kalamazoo Kangaroo. Feeds right side at midfield to Caleb Surrey. Surrey tried to get it ahead to um, Gerald McGlynn and the ball was stripped away by Tima. Now Don Tobin, red line. Toby picked up by Hayes. Right side at the Canton red line to Mike Paxos. Now on the left side to Tim Tima and back in the goal box to Bill Namoski. We've played three minutes. The Invaders lead two to nothing. Striking early and often so far. Long lead for Rudy. Rudy heads it over and it just hit the crossbar above Petroni's head. And a sliding play by Tima to knock the ball away from McGlynn. McGlynn able to get back to his feet, dump it back to Surrey. Surrey and Tima collide and there was a whistle and a foul. And the first one of the period is going against Tim Tima of the Canton Invaders. First team foul on either club. And we have 11.38 to play in the first period. The Invaders have touched him up for two goals early in the game, and they lead two to nothing. Glenn Irvine, left, right side at midfield, now back in front of the arc to Petroni. And Petroni will come out with it across the red line, stop, sends it up the left side of the floor. Once Caleb Surrey, around a pick by McGlynn, shot deflected, Mike Paxos knocks it out in the corner, and Tim Tima controls there. Louisville backing up on D. Tima sends it ahead to an open Don Tobin. Tobin to Kia, can't get it, the pass was too far ahead of him. Caught on the fly by Petroni. Kia looked like he'd gotten behind Irvine for a second, but the pass had to lead him a little bit, and Petroni was able to pick it off. Canton red line, they work it ahead. And now back at the Louisville red line is Caleb Surrey. Pekosinski on defense with him. Surrey pushes it up the floor, and McGlynn won't get it. Tima breaches into the corner. McGlynn with a push, no call. Timmy back up and clears it around the man into the box. Hayes was in for the double team. team Timmy able to get it into Namoski. Ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin working on back to Ari at midfield. Moves through the center circle and back up right side at the red line to Mike Paxos. 10.45 to play in the first period. Left side feed comes to Tim Tima. And Timmy will back it up in the goal arc to Namovsky. Tobin crosses out front. Out light straight ahead to Don Tobin. Invaders assistant coach. He'll be our guest at halftime. Lead ball Kia. Kia tried to center for Rudy. The pass hit him in the back of the heel. Bakhtiari controls for Louisville. Outlet to McGlynn. Right side at midfield. Pekosinski on D, lead ball, and Hayes couldn't follow it in. Namovsky went after the pass, didn't get it. Hayes missed the net, and it's cleared out to midfield. Saeed Bakhtiari in pursuit, but Cato picks it up for Louisville, and picked clean by Pekosinski. Here we go again. Two on one, Rudy and Kia, and the ball knocked away by Bakhtiari. Kia got a little too close before he tried to make the feed, and Bakhtiari able to pick it away. Ahead to McGlynn. McGlynn, right side in the can, and he winds, he fires, blocked by Paxos. Centering pass, and a shot by Bakhtiari, and a save by Namoski. Namoski, short outlet on the right side of the box to Tim Tima. And Timmy will come out across the red line, crosses midfield, directing traffic forward for Steve Maurer. Maurer left side, out front to Moyers. Moyers back to the net on Helen Camp. 
Midfield, they dump it back in the center circle to Oscar Fasano. Right side to Tom Condrich. Condrich forward, it's right side in, against Cato. This is Maurer. Maurer moves to the left point to Kramer. Back to Maurer. Give and go feed in the corner. Wall passes behind Moyers. Condrich chases it down in the corner. Tomo working out front against Zoran Savic. Now back at midfield to Kramer. Artie tried to send it over to Condrich, and he put it up in the crowd. And it will go back to Louisville. 9.15 to play in the first quarter. And the Invaders lead 2 to nothing on early goals by Kia and Art Kramer. Invaders' next home game, Friday night, Chicago Shockers come to town. That's an 8.05 kickoff. We hope to have you here for that one. Good crowd in the stands at the Civic Center tonight. Now the referees uh, pick the ball up, and we'll have a bit of a conversation. Uh, the one clock at the far end is apparently not working. And uh, they will keep the official time on the clocks on either side of the field. Saeed back to Yari, Paul Cato, Zoran Savick, Chris Hellenkamp, and Jim Gabera on the floor for Louisville. And for the Invaders, it's Art Kramer, Oscar Pisano, Steve Maurer, Steve Moyers, and Tom Condridge. Thunder will dump it back in the goal box. It's Victor Petroni there. <laughs> Petroni will come out across the red line. Moyers comes up to confront him, and the lead pass for Savick is a little bit behind him, and that allowed Condridge to try to clear. Double teamed by Savick and Gabera. Savick comes away with the ball, pushes it out front, Helen Camp. Kramer back on D for Canton. Helen Camp into the sideboards, now in the corner, and the feet out front is too far. Gabera with a shot, and that was deflected away. I'm not sure if that hit Helen Camp or Pisano. I believe it hit Oscar, and it goes over the glass and out of play. Referee says it hit Oscar. Louisville will put it in play. Touchline right side with 8.48 to play in the first quarter, and the Invaders leading 2 to nothing. Chris Helen Camp. Steps away from the ball. Cato puts it in play. Missed Gabera on the feet on the post. And Maurer heads it out, and he got fouled by Cato in the process. And the team fouls are now even at one apiece with 8.43 on the clock in period one. Invaders lead 2 to nothing. This is 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Your radio home for Invaders soccer. Artie Kramer pushes it ahead. Louisville defensive zone. Steve Moyers. And back to the Canton red line to Pisano on the left side. Oscar chases it down there under the watchful eye of Jim Gabera. They feed it beyond Maurer, ahead for Moyers in the corner. Maurer got around Cato for a second. Moyers not able to get the feed away from Bakhtiari, though. Kramer dumps it down in the corner. Bakhtiari wants to clear it out, and they back away on D. And Saeed pushes it up on the right side at the red line to Paul Cato. Cato, red line of Canton, middle of the floor is Chris Hellenkamp, working on Tobin. Takes him down the left side. Wall pass intended for Savick, knocked away by Condridge. Helen Camp in the left corner. Back out on the point, it comes to back to Yari. Posted up out front, they've got uh, Gabera. Gabera trying to get around Pozzano. Maurer, the double team in the deflection, and Moyers controls and taps it back to Condridge for the Invaders. 7.45 to play in the first quarter. Canton two, Louisville nothing. Right side midfield with the ball at Tim Tima, right in front of the Canton bench. Now at the red line on the point, it comes to Pikasinski. Rudy to Kia. Kia trying to get around Cato. He got held. Two minutes coming up on Paul Cato. He had to do that because if he doesn't, Kia's going to eat Petroni alive. And the Invaders, with a two-goal lead, will go on the power play with 7.29 to play. In the first period, the time of the penalty on Cato will be 7.31. Be two minutes, I would think, for holding. The Invader power play on the year, 24 goals in 56 attempts, 43% success rate. Louisville penalty killers have been excellent. 86% they've killed off given up only eight goals in 55 man down situations. The shorthanded unit for Louisville, it's Gabera, Surrey, Bakhtiari, and Hayes. The power play for Canton, Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Oscar Pisano, Don Tobin, and Steve Maurer. 7.29 in the period. Kia. Dumps it outside, Pisano, middle of the floor to Tobin. And here is uh, Pisano, back to Toby. Left side feed to Maurer. Centering pass goes to Rudy, and he missed the shot wide to the left. And Gabera clears to midfield. Pisano chasing that one back into the Canton end. Namaski comes out of the box and pushes it ahead to Oscar. Minute 40 left in the penalty. Here comes Tobin. He winds, he fires right into the chest of Petroni, who grabs it and holds on. 
Long lead. Hayes trying to get behind Pisano. The pass is behind both of them. Tobin ends up with it. Both Hayes and uh, Pisano go sprawling down, but Tobin at a walk up the, uh, the midfield circle. Now right side to Oscar. Minute 25 in the penalty. Maher wall feed, and Rudy was coming in the left side, and Petroni went down and scooped the ball away just in the nick of time. Outlet Surrey, right side midfield, knocked away from behind by Maurer, taken in the can zone by Namofsky, ahead to Tobin, ahead to Pisano. Oscar right side at midfield, one minute left in the penalty. Here comes Pisano, left side at the red line to Tobin. Toby looks left, looks right, backs away. Now left side, the feed comes to Maurer, and back out front to Toby. Now on the left side to Maurer, inside in the corner. Wants the feed, lost the ball, Gabera has it and got it back. Maurer now again, back out front to Tobin. Toby posted up Rudy, back to Maurer, he's open. Petroni able to knock it away. And Gabera will try to clear, but Pikasinski has him fronted on the boards. And Kia over to double team, knocks it out to Don Tobin at midfield. 30 seconds left in the penalty. Pisano across the midfield line. Across the red line, right side in the corner, Kia to Rudy. Rudy shoots, good save by Petroni. And the rebound knocked out to Surrey. He knocked it back to Petroni, who was still sprawled on the ground. Maurer almost got there first, but Victor able to control. Ten seconds in the penalty. Pisano in the Canton end, trying to get away from Hayes. Oscar coming up through the midfield circle. They collide, and the pushing foul goes against Tom Hayes. That'll be the second one against Louisville in the period. One on the Invaders. Only three seconds left of the penalty now. So the Invaders would have time for maybe one quick shot, and that would be it. Tobin taps it to Tima, who just stepped off the bench. Two seconds in the penalty. Key is shot. No, Rudy uh, ridden away. Got it out front to Tobin. The penalty is over. Here comes Cato back of the floor. Right side, Kia. Kia winds, fires. Good save by Petroni again. Rebound knocked out in the corner, and it was hit out by Surrey and Louisville. Not able to get it out of their own end yet, though, even though the penalty is over. The Invaders will have a corner kick from the right side. Louisville uses the break in the time to get their man down unit off the field. It'll be Irvine, Mahalik, Helen Camp, McGlynn, and uh, Tim Sedlicek, former Milwaukee Wave player, in for the first time. Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Tim Tima, Mike Paxos, and Don Tobin for Canton. Toby, trigger man from the right side. Out front to Kia, he shoots, and Petroni just got that. Rebound score by Rudy Pikasinski. Petroni made a heck of a save to get the first one, but that left him on the ground, totally vulnerable to the rebound, and Rudy rams it home. The Invaders lead 3 to nothing. Time of the goal will be 9.45 for Rudy Pikasinski, his 25th goal of the season, and Kia picks up his 14th assist, 15th assist, I'm sorry, and the Invaders have a three to nothing lead in the first period. Pikasinski from Kia. Kia has also scored a goal, Kramer has the other one, three nothing Invaders. Coming up on the five minute mark in the first period, Helen Camp lost the ball to Kramer at midfield. Pushes it ahead to Steve Moyers, now back to Artie. Artie back at the Canton red line to Condrich, and now Louisville backing away on D. Condrich. Right side, and uh, Pisano will now steer it back in the box for Namofsky. 4.54 to play in the first quarter. It's been all Canton so far, 3 to nothing. Kia, Kramer, and Rudy Pikasinski have scored the three goals for the Invaders. Namofsky long lead, Steve Moyers, ball knocked out of play by Irvine, and it'll be a corner kick for the Invaders from the left side this time. 4.42 in the period. The Invaders lead 3 to nothing. And your trigger man will be Art Kramer. Kramer out there on the forward line with Moyers and Maurer. Kondrich and Pisano are your defenders. Artie through the box, loose out front. The follow knocked away by Cato. And coming up the floor with it is Sedlicek for Louisville. Sedlicek on the run up the right side with Kondrich. Tomo will get whistled for the push. And that is the second foul on the Invaders. Team fouls even at two apiece. Helen Camp post out front. Give and go. Helen Camp shot hit the post. And the follow by McGlynn, though. No. Rebound comes out to Pisano. Steers it into the waiting hands of Bill Namofsky. Namofsky shovels it ahead on the left side to Art Kramer. Kramer to Oscar Pisano. And Pisano will bring it out. Oscar out across the red line. Left side midfield. Kramer trying to get inside Helen Camp. Did and then got held by Helen Camp in the process. 
And that's the third team foul on Louisville. Comes with 4-11 to go in the quarter. Invaders lead three to nothing. Oscar Pisano looking inside on McGlynn. Bounces it off the left side boards for Maurer and back out front to Pisano. Oscar to the right side. The ball's picked away by Helen Camp. Helen Camp clears to Sedlicek. Kondrich and Kramer double team and Tomo comes away with the ball. Now Pisano midfield and a knock away taken by Cato. Sedlicek feeds to McGlynn. Across the red line for the Invaders. McGlynn in front of the arc. Shot blocked by Kramer. Out front, the ball off the foot of Helen Camp was blocked by Maurer. And Moyers with a steal from behind. He put Cato clean. Moyers up the left side of the floor, across the red line. Getting inside of Cato down in the corner. Feeds Kramer, trying to Moyers, give and go. Maurer shoots. Oh, what a play by Petroni to get that one off the post. That had 4 nothing written all over it. Here's Kondrich, left corner feed. Cato cannot uh, get it away from Mo Moyers. Moyers around one, he shoots, he scores! Victor Petroni, I think that got deflected. I believe it hit Cato. And the Invaders lead 4 to nothing on a Steve Moyers goal. Oh, my heavens. Steve Moyers picks up his sixth goal of the year. This one comes at 11.39 of the period. And the Invaders have piled up a 4 to nothing lead. Kondrich picks up the assist for Tomo. It's his fifth assist of the season. And the Invaders lead four to nothing. We're still in the first quarter. 3-10 to play in the first period. Canton four, Louisville nothing. Tima clears it out of the Canton end to Pikasinski. You may have a break this time. Here's Don Tobin trying to get Mike Paxos, but it's swept away by Irvine. Petroni long lead for Gabera. Gabera left side at midfield working on Tima. They back it up to Irvine at their own red line. Now on the right side to Surrey. Surrey picked up by Pikasinski and a uh, bad pass in the Canton and nobody home there and Tima has it for the Invaders sweeps it over to Paxos to Namofsky right side at the red line to Tobin Tobin ahead for Kia Kia working on Irvine Rudy Rudy shoots and a good save by Petroni knocks it in the corner Irvine coming out with it Kia on him Irvine backs away from Kia and across the field on the right side they find Caleb Suri 2.22 to play in the first quarter. 4-0 Invaders. Petroni, long lead for Gabera off the glass, and Gabera can't get it, and Namoski with a diving play to take it away from Gabera. And a dangerous play is called on Gabera, and that's the fourth foul on Louisville, and they're a little bit uh, in a world of hurt there, too. Canton only two fouls, and two more in two minutes would put Louisville a man down again. The Invaders already lead four to nothing and two minutes to play in the first quarter. Tim Tima, red line for Canton, uh, to the Louisville red line behind Pikasinski, and it's uh, Irvine in the corner. Kia on D with him. Irvine pushes it over on the right side to Surrey. Surrey dumps it ahead for Gabera, but Tima has position on the boards, and once Timmy got the ball, Gabera didn't even bother chasing it. Namoski outlet right side midfield for Kia. Kia working on Glenn Irvine. Back in the Canton zone to Tim Tima, minute 34 in the quarter. Right side midfield to Kia. Kia takes it down in the Louisville end. They attack three on three. Rudy give and go feed for Kia. Knocked away. Tobin got it back. Tobin to Kia. Tried to get Rudy in the corner. Let him a bit much. Rudy trying to get inside Surrey on the right side. Double team. Here's Paxos with a shot. It's over the glass and out of play. With a minute 18 to play in the first quarter. And it'll be a goal kick for the Thunder. A kick in. It was outside the flag. So they'll kick it in from the corner. But the Invaders lead four to nothing. Goals by Kia, Kramer, Pikasinski, and Moyers. Second and third quarters are our contest quarters tonight. Too bad we didn't pull a card in the first quarter. <laughs> well, we will have contest periods the second and third. Minute 18 to play in this first quarter, and the Invaders have taken a commanding 4 to nothing lead early in the game. Mahalik sends it up the right side, and Kondrich and... Uh, Morabet fight for it there. It squirts into the Louisville bench. Tomo touched it last. Helen Camp will put it in play at midfield. Helen Camp taps it ahead. Red line and knocked away from uh, Amlong by Moyers. And it's back in the goal box for Namoski. Minute six in the quarter. Namoski comes out of the box with it. 
Helen Camp comes up to confront him. He dumps it on the left side to Kramer. Back to Namoski. Billy forward for Oscar Pisano, left side at midfield. Pisano working on Amlong, 50 seconds in the period. Pisano through the box. He shoots, save Petroni. Boy, they have made Victor Petroni work like he hasn't had to work in a while in this period. 41 seconds in the quarter. Back in the can, then Zoran Savic double teamed up against the boards and a tripping foul against the invaders against Condridge. Third foul on Canton, 36 seconds to go in the quarter. Saeed Bakhtiari will put it in play from the left point for Louisville. Back at the red line to Helen Camp. Helen Camp trying to get inside Kramer. Amlong had trouble holding on to the pass, now gets it back at midfield to Bakhtiari. 28 seconds in the quarter. Bakhtiari moves around one man, left side feet in the corner. Amlong centering pass across the front of the goal mouth, and it comes all the way out on the point. And Morabet backs it away from Moyers. Midfield is Mahalik. Now 15 seconds in the period. Pass thrown away by Pisano ahead to Kramer. He tried to sweep it forward for Oscar and let him a bit much, but it's in the Louisville end with eight seconds. Now Amlong, midfield. Pisano sliding play to knock it away from Helen Camp. It goes over the glass and out of play. And the Invaders will kick it in with just two seconds showing on the clock. It has been a productive first period. Maybe the best the Invaders have looked all year. And that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders four. The Louisville Thunder nothing. Back in a minute. Maurer, Moyers, and Kramer up front. Condrich and Pisano in the back. Savick, Gabera. And Helen Camp, the front line for Louisville. Moise Suri is in on defense. That's Caleb Suri's brother, and he's back there along with Giannis Mahalik. First time we have seen Moise Suri this year for Louisville. The Invaders lead four to nothing. Keith Tozer still on the disabled list. He's in a three-piece suit on the sideline tonight, injured in the last game played here. Oh, Artie got under that pass. Tried to knock it over to Moyers at midfield. Knocked away by Mahalik, but taken right back by Pisano. Here is Condrich in the Canton defensive zone. Ahead to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around Savick. Savick with a push. And Oscar gets up and gives a kind of a sideways glance at uh, Zoran Savick. It's the first foul on Louisville in the period. And Oscar comes over and gives him a pat and says, OK, we're hustling. That's all right. Maurer, midfield, it comes to Pisano. Pisano blue, blows right around one, around two, and around the third guy, Moyers out front. They try to feed Maurer, and a ball knocked away and taken by Mahalik. Mahalik, right side in the Louisville defensive zone, pushes it ahead midfield, and Helen Camp dumps it back. Moise Suri leaves it, and coming away with it is Mahalik. Mahalik ahead for Gabera, knocked back to midfield, and Mahalik there on the left side. Moyers picks him up on D. They send it for Cabrera. He shoots just wide to the left. And the rebound bounces out near the red line. Condrich has it for Canton. Backs it away and allows Zoran Savick to clear. Now Savick confronts him on D, and he backs it up in the goal area. Namoski sends the lead left side midfield for Maurer. Maurer taps it back to Pisano too far behind him. Savick in the corner for Louisville. Savick spin to come out front. Outside Helen Camp shot. Oh, and he put that one up in the cheap seats. Louisville looks like a very frustrated team right now, and Helen Cam got so far under that one, it wasn't even funny. He almost put that in the catwalk that goes between the two press boxes, and if you're familiar with this place, that is way, way up in the air. The Invaders lead four to nothing. No scoring in the first minute 10 of this quarter, and we're looking for a goal to make Mike Kress of Canton a winner in our Lucky Invader fan contest this period. Next home game, next Friday night, 8.05 kickoff against the second place Chicago Shockers. Bill Namoski with a ball in the goal box for Canton. Team out at the red line on the left side and Paxos is on the right. Namoski comes out through the arc ahead to Tobin straight ahead and right back to Namoski. Billy outside the box in the arc now ahead midfield for Kia. Kia shovels it on the right side for Paxos. Paxos across the red line now back up at midfield to Tobin. Tobin for Kia. Kia takes in the left side in the thunder end. Turns, faces back to Yari, trying to get it over to Rudy, deflected by Amlong. And Amlong called for holding on the play. And that's the second foul on the Thunder in the period. None on Canton so far. 13-16 to play in the first half, and the Invaders lead 4 to nothing. Don Tobin to put it in play for Canton. He wants Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside Cato. Cato with a push. That's the third foul on Louisville. They feed Tobin to Kia, and they put it in play too quickly, so... 
Victor Petroni breathes a sigh of relief because he had Kia one-on-one. -on -one. And it looked like Kia had quite a bit of net to work with on the one side. Tobin will put it in play for the invaders. They already lead four to nothing. Toby into the left corner for Rudy. Heads it up for Kia, but it's knocked away by Bakhtiari. Amlong couldn't get it, but coming up the floor on the break is Hayes. Hayes will shoot. No, Namovsky with a sliding play to knock it away. Takes it in the corner. Excellent one-on-one -on -one play by Namovsky. Now team and a help out. Took it away in the corner. Knocked it in the goal box for Billy. It was Namovsky against Hayes, and Billy came out and played it excellently. Hayes a little bit shy and making the move, and Billy able to come out and sweep the ball away into the corner. That allowed the defense time to get back. Excellent play by the Canton goalkeeper. 12.38 to play in the first half. Invaders four, Louisville nothing. Namovsky, long lead over the head of Cato. Rudy's got it. Knocked away by Bakhtiari. Pekosinski got it back to Kia. He shoots, he put it in the stage. Well, they just missed connections on that. They clicked pretty well on the passes. And I think the ball for Kia might have been just a little bit high, and he got under it and put it in the stage. Goal kick Louisville, 12.25 to play in the second quarter. The Invaders have looked very sharp, very crisp in every phase of the game so far. Some lag in the stands just told Tozer to pull the goalkeeper. It's a little early for that, I think. I remember the last time they were here, this team scored two sixth attacker goals in the last 11 seconds. So this thing isn't over yet. Petroni, long lead midfield, Cabrera knocked away by Pisano. Moyers taps it back to Oscar. Oscar heads it ahead for Moyers. Off the glass, uh, Moise Suri got in front of it. And Helen Camp at midfield for Louisville. Left side to Zorin Savick. Savick trying to move around Condrich. Passes behind Helen Camp, taken away by Pisano. Here come the invaders on the attack. Oscar right side feed to Condrich. Tomo picked up by Gabera at the red line. Takes it down in the corner. Wall pass out front. It's behind Moyers who got hammered by Mahalik. No call. And coming the other way is Savick for Louisville. I had to Helen Camp the feed and Pisano stepped in front and knocked it away. They had a give and go feed up the right side to Mahalik. And Oscar did a good job to break that one up. Outlet left side midfield. It is uh, Steve Maurer, now Condrich, and now Pisano at the red line. Oscar Pisano pushes it forward. It's Moyers in the corner. Wall past Maurer, and he shoots and knocked away by Petroni. Rebound loose in the corner. Maurer trying to get away. Mahalik with a deflection. And Petroni has it in the goal box. Victor Petroni will put the ball on the floor. Maurer a couple of steps up. Left side at the red line to Helen Camp. Rudy off the bench, knocked away. Here comes Condrich, down in the corner. Petroni had the ball knocked away by Maurer. It's cleared out by Mahalik. Surrey couldn't get it. Maurer and Surrey fight for it. He wants a feed. Pikasinski shoots, and he missed it wide to the right side. And it goes up over the glass and out of play. The Invaders will put it in. I'm telling you, they are putting the pressure on like you would not believe. Happy birthday to Kathy Waltz, 25 years old. Is that for me or the PA? Did he read it? Give it to him. I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> I've done my share. <laughs> There's a timeout on the field with 11.01 to play in the first half, and the Invaders have piled up a 4 to nothing lead. All the scoring coming in the first quarter and goals by Kia, Kramer, Rudy, and Moy. What is that, noon airtime? Noon airtime, I kick it off at 12.30. If you're looking to hear Nev, Deacon, and uh, Mueller, you're going to not hear that. It'll be the NBC announcers. I think it'll be Cricky and Trumpy. They're not too shabby either. Centering ball for Kia. Kia off the feet from Tobin. Back to Tima at the red line, down in the corner. They want Rudy. Caleb Suri steps in front, knocks it to Tobin. Tobin with the attack for Canton in the corner. Toby outside on the right side. Wants the feet underneath. There's nothing out there. And Toby trying to move inside between the legs of Surrey. Surrey held him, no call. Now he gets the call. And that's the fourth foul on Louisville. None on the invaders in the period. And Louisville, two fouls away from a penalty. And there's 10.43 left in the quarter. Kick it from the right corner. Tobin will put it in play for Canton. Toby to Paxos. He fires. He scores! Axos from Don Tobin, and the Invaders lead five to nothing. Mike Paxos, second goal of the year, and I want to tell you that Mike Kress of Canton, you just won the tickets, you just won the dinners, 
you get to go to the game. We're going to feed you. And you can come over here and shake Mike Paxos hand for that because he made you a winner. Paxos the goal, Tobin the assist. The time is 429, 419, excuse me, of the second period. And the Invaders lead five to nothing. And Victor Petroni is gone. Victor Petroni, I don't know if he wanted to come out, but he's not at all happy. Petroni leaves with 10.41 left in the second quarter. And A.J. Lakawecki, who's 5-2 with a 4.37 goals against average, is uh, in the net for Louisville. And I'm not really sure he wants to be there the way things have been going in the first half. He has watched Petroni just get shelled. Tima with the ball at midfield for Canton. Timmy, spin move to get around Hayes. Down in the corner, they want Pekosinski. Rudy had the ball knocked away by Bakhtiari, but Paxos controls, and he tried to dump it in the right, the left side. Kia heads it back in the point, and Don Tobin with it. Tried to get it back to Kia, knocked away by Bakhtiari, and Tima will chase it down at the Canton red line. Timmy tries to get it into Namoski, and it goes into the box, and Namoski pushed from behind by Hayes, no call. Billy goes down in the box, but still holds on to the ball. And Tima sends it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get Kia, and Lakawecki heads it away. Cato red line, and a partial deflection, but Cato has it back. Don Tobin on defense, knocked away from behind by Kia, and Tima dumps it in the goal box for Nomofsky. 9.40 to play in the first half. Five-nothing invaders. Tim Tima, outlet, midfield on the right side for Moyer, Maurer. And the ball knocked away and taken by Bakhtiari in a sliding tackle. He pushes it ahead, and Sedlicek couldn't control. Pisano knocked it away from behind. Every time a Louisville player controls the ball, somebody for Canton is get a foot, getting a foot on it. Defensive pressure has been there. The passing has been excellent, and they've been putting away the opportunities when they get them. Excellent first half of soccer by the Invaders. They're putting on a clinic right now. Zoran Savic, left side midfield around Condridge. Sedlicek. Left side of the red line, picked up by Pisano. Across the front, leaves it for Surrey. Caleb Surrey, left corner of the box. Wall pass, nobody home out front. Taken at the red line by Moyers. Back to Steve Maurer. Invaders bringing it out. Maurer, midfield. Up the left side for Condridge. Condridge trying to get around Moise Surrey. Finds Kramer in the corner. Give and go feed, knocked away out front. And Moise Surrey clears to midfield. Zoran Savick up the right side. Pisano back on defense for Canton. Surrey with a shot wide to the left. Rebound comes out to Sedlicek, but Condrich knocks it away. Helen Camp got it back for Louisville. Helen Camp, there's a steal by Maurer. Here we go again. Maurer to Kramer. Invaders on the run. Artie pulls it up short at midfield. Now on the right side, it comes to Condrich. 8.21 to play in the first half. Five-nothing Invaders. This is Maurer in the Louisville defensive. And on the right point to Tomo. Condrich, a move in on Moise Surrey. And a spit move around Sedlicek. Maurer centering pass for Moyers. And Lakawecki picked that one off. Midfield ball intercepted by Pisano. Couldn't do much with it because of good D by Savick, but a bad pass by Helen Camp right to Pisano. Now Kramer, now Moyers, and now uh, Pisano, and he's pass led Moyers a bit much. Here comes Louisville, three on two. Moise Surrey, right side to Savick. Savick, around one, he shoots, hit the post on the left side. Rebound comes out to Gabera. Gabera trying to get inside the wall feed, knocked away by Pisano, and Kramer clears it out to midfield. Mahalik chases it down there for Louisville. 7.37 in the period. By far the best offense, really the only offense Louisville has mounted in the game in the last minute and a half. Gobera, right point in the Canton defensive zone. In the corner, the feed out front for Savick, deflected by Condrich, taken by Namoski. Billy pulled up and then stopped back on the trigger for the long outlet. Ahead it comes, and Pekosinski with a spin move around Cato. Rudy unmarked around Lakawecki, tripped by Cato, and they get the call, and that's the fifth foul. That was very close to being two minutes. Because Rudy had the breakaway if he gets around him. Lakawecki was out in right field somewhere. He certainly wasn't in the net. 7-12 to play in the first half. Canton five, Louisville nothing. Petroni started and gave up all five goals. He was replaced with 10-41 left in this period by Lakawecki. Kia shoots, hit the post on the right side. Rebound out to Helen Camp. Helen Camp. On the right side of the red line to Savick. He's being hounded by Condrich. Now Helen Camp ahead to Gabera to Savick. Savick, ball deflected by Tobin. Cato gets it back at the red line. And a bad pass intercepted by Pisano. Here we go again. Pisano and Gabera fight for it along the boards. Oscar will back it up in the uh, goal box to Namofsky. 
6.46 to play in the first half. 5 nothing Invaders. Condridge pushes it forward. Right side in the Thunder end to Kia on the point, working on Cato. Back at the red line of Canton to Paxos. And on the right side to Condridge. Tomo for Rudy. Rudy on Mahalik, lost the ball. He wants Kia, can't feed it. Now Tobin, Tobin right side. Double teamed around the boards. And Toby trying to get away from two. Does to Kia, give and go. Toby knocked away Helen Camp. And Mahalik clears ahead to Zoran Savick. Savick with Kia on D at the red line. Kia took it away. Savick looked the other way for a second. Kia knocks it to Tobin. Back at midfield to Tima. They are contesting every ball. 6.06. Tima had the ball deflected by Bakhtiari. They push it ahead. Jim Gabera leaves it for Savick. Left side at midfield. Louisville on the attack in the Canton zone. In the corner, Gabera centering pass. Nobody home out front. And Rudy Pikasinski will take that rebound out at the red line for Canton. Move around Helen Camp. Here we come two on two. Pikasinski and Kia. Cato and Bakhtiari back on D. Rudy on the Jets in the corner. Shot deflected by Cato. And coming the other way is Gabera. Gabera picked up by Kia. Kia got a little, little bit of that ball and knocked it back. Bakhtiari controls. 5.34 left in the half. Gabera left side. Canton red line. Timo on D. Gabera feeds on the right side. Hayes shot blocked by Paxos. And here comes Tobin the other way for the Invaders. Tobin drops it back, intercepted. Gabera, left side, Hayes. Hayes, shot. Mamoski with a save. Rebound loose, and Billy grabs it and holds on. Billy with the outlet. Moyers got behind a man up the left side, but had the weight on the feed. Moyers inside on back to Yari. Sliding play by Saeed to knock it free. Kramer has it back for Canton. To Maurer, he shoots. He hit the post on the left side. Boy, that had a little go oomph behind it. That might have ripped the back of the net out if it had gone in. 4.57 to go in the first half. Kramer in the corner. Maurer clears out front. Kramer working inside on Helen Camp. Artie backing up now. Left side, he'll take it out of the point. And back at midfield to Mike Paxos. Now they may want to try to draw the sixth foul here. Tima ahead to Moyers. Moyers moving inside. I think they want to spread out the Louisville defense. Moyers heel pass, knocked away. And uh, Hayes couldn't get it. Tima has it for Canton. Taken down, there's the sixth foul. And the Invaders will go on the power play now. They failed on their first power play attempt. That's about the only thing that hasn't gone right tonight because they have scored five other goals. The sixth foul penalty against Louisville comes at 10.31 of the period. Two-minute penalty on So the Invaders go back on the power play. They already lead five to nothing with a chance to go up by a half a dozen by halftime and still no fouls called on Canton in this period. They have just come out here and completely dominated this game in every aspect. Pisano, red line. Comes to Tobin. Back to Maurer. Maurer shot. Loose out front. Kia the rebound. Blocked by back to Yari. Kia <laughs> dumps it back out on the right point to Pisano. Oscar goes across the floor at midfield to Tobin. Toby out of the circle. Comes to the red line. He winds. He fires the post. Kia rebound. Knocked it right into the chest of Lakawaki. Outlet comes out to Gabera. Louisville on the attack. Gabera into the Canton zone. He shoots. Wide. Rebound. And Pikasinski dumps it back in the box for Namofsky. And ahead to Don Tobin. Minute nine left in the penalty. Tobin, left point. Thought about the shot. Rudy posted up out front. Got the ball around one. And it was knocked away by back to Yari. And now Tobin back at the red line. Toby looking in in the corner for Maurer. Maurer to Rudy. Rudy with a shot. Blocked by Bakhtiari again. They clear it out. Hayes got around one. With Pisano able to control the ball for Canton. Taken down on the trip by Hayes. That's the seventh foul on Louisville. We have 49 seconds left in the penalty. Invaders lead five to nothing. Looking for the sixth one on the power play. Midfield circle is Don Tobin. Posted up out front, Pikasinski back to Toby. Right side feed to Pisano and back to Tobin on the one touch. Left corner, it comes to Maurer. Maurer a couple of steps in, back outside to Tobin. Tobin feeds, it was deflected in and caught on the first bounce by Lakaweki. 
Outlet, right side at midfield to Gabera. 24 seconds left in the penalty. Gabera down in the corner. Shot, no. Rebound. Pisano knocked it away. Surrey knocked him down. But Kia controlled the loose ball and dumped it inside to uh, Namaski. 10 seconds left in the penalty. Tobin through the midfield circle. Box defense for Louisville. Toby fires and scores! He fired that from six feet outside the red line. I don't think Rocco Wecky believed he took the shot. Six nothing, Kenton. How about that? Power play goal for Don Tobin, his seventh goal of the year. It comes at 12.29. Two seconds were left in the penalty when Tobin scored. And so A.J. Lakowiecki gives up his first goal tonight after Petroni got bombed for five in less than 25 minutes. Six-nothing invaders. And you've got a penalty coming up for unsportsmanlike conduct on somebody. Apparently it's on Canton. Pisano is in the box. And Hayes is in the box for Louisville, so they must have gotten unsportsmanlike conduct on both teams. So they would play four on four if that's the case. And give Namofsky the assist on Tobin's goal. So the goalkeeper gets the assist. And now we have uh, Pisano and Hayes both getting unsportsmanlike conduct penalties after the goal was scored. So we'll play four on four for two minutes. That may tend to favor Canton, especially the way things have been going tonight for Louisville. Cato midfield ahead to Cabrera in the Canton zone. Tima back on D. It's Tima, Condridge, Kramer, and Frick for Canton. Savic, Gabera, Cato, and Bakhtiari for Louisville. Deflection and the push call goes against Tim Tima. That's the first foul on the invaders in the period. Comes with 2.09 to play. Minute 42 left in the double penalties. Feeding the corner, Bakhtiari, the, the centering pass headed away by Tima. Here comes Frick. Frick on a foot race with Bakhtiari up the right side. Kramer clears to the left. Fricky will back it up. And the fun bunch will see what kind of business they can do with a minute 56 to play. They'll back it up midfield to Art Kramer. Invaders lead six to nothing with 148 to play in the first half. Namaski dribbling out ahead to Kramer, ahead to Frick. Frick one touch on the left side. Kramer, and he was held by Cato, and that's the eighth foul on Louisville with a minute 35 to play. And a minute, a minute and five seconds left in the two penalties. Browns and Broncos on 1480 WHBC tomorrow at noon. Kickoff at 1230. We have time at halftime. We may play that Brownstown thing for you. I've got it here. In the corner, it is Savick. Savick trying to come out for Louisville. Pushes it ahead to Cato. Cato up the left side of the floor across midfield, across the Canton red line. He fires nobody home for the pass. Condrich knocked it away from Savick. Gabera flags it down, knocked it right to Condrich. Here we go again. Two on one, and Bakhtiari with the sliding play to prevent the breakaway. Kramer and Cato fight in the corner. Cato took it away. He shoots and put it out of play. It was deflected, I believe, by Billy. And it'll be a corner kick for Louisville. Minute seven to play in the period and 37 seconds left in the penalties. Six nothing invaders. Kia, Kramer, Pikasinski, Moyers, Paxos, and Tobin have scored the goals for Kent. Savic knocked it away from Gabera. The shot by Moise Suri rejected by Kondrich. Lakowiecki out of the net. He better get that or Frick's going to score. Lakowiecki was way outside the red line after that. Moise Suri shot deflected and scores. That hit one of the invaders and went in. And Moise Suri gets his first goal of the year. It comes with 53 seconds left in the half. So Louisville gets on the board at 14.07 of the period. 
but they still trail by five. Six to one. The Invaders with the lead. Bakhtiari will get the assist, his fourth on the season. So it hadn't been a complete wash for Louisville in the first half, but they've still dug themselves a huge hole. And let's see what the Invaders do to respond to that. Tima tried to send it ahead for Pikasinski, but it was wide right and out of play. Lakowacki out front, Frick to apply pressure. 15 seconds in the two penalties. They shovel it ahead for Savick. Savick with Tima in the right corner. And Kondrich over to help out, and Tomo clears it. Chasing it down at midfield is uh, Mahalik. He dumps it back to Lakowacki. Now Caleb Surrey, the brother of the guy who just scored the goal at midfield. Mahalik, Savick, shot, kick, save, and a dandy by Namoski to put that one out of play with 24 seconds left in the half. The penalties are over now. Both teams are at full strength. And Louisville will have a corner kick from the right side. The Invaders lead 6-1. <laughs> Somebody just handed me a note that said maybe Petroni should try decaffeinated coffee. I don't know. <laughs> Hayes shot and the wide by Mahalik. Savick on the point, dumps it down in the corner, bounces in the goal box. Namovsky holds on, 14 seconds. Short outlet right side to Kondrich. Now Namovsky ahead to Pisano. Pisano ahead to, Toma, uh, to Tima, six seconds. Tima for Kramer, four seconds, three, and that'll be the end of the quarter. With the score, the Canton Invaders six, and the Louisville Thunder one. Less than 20 minutes. Moyers, Maurer, Kramer, Pisano, and Condridge for Canton. Savick, Gabera, Helen Camp, Mahalik, and Luis Surrey. The younger of the two Surrey brothers. Caleb, the other one. Luis had the goal in the first half. That's the starting five for Louisville. They have the kickoff. Gabera tried to push forward with it and knocked it right to Kramer. Kondrich now in the invader defensive end, back in the goal box to Pisano. Pisano lead, it's headed away by Gabera and Namoski able to grab it and hold on. Long lead for Maurer. Maurer left side at midfield, back it up to Kondrich. Tomo red line, the pass taken away by Savick. Savick, couple of steps inside, shot blocked by Pisano. And then Oscar comes away with it in the corner. <laughs> Trying to see what that sign says. Pisano down into the corner in the Louisville end. Knocked away by Gabera. Uh, we can't say what it says on the air. It says something about Denver. There's some Browns fans here. But that's all we can tell you. We've played one minute. <laughs> We've played one minute of the third quarter. Lakowecki with the ball for Louisville. Long lead. They want Helen Camp. He shoots. He scores. So Helen Camp will get the goal, and Lakowecki should pick up an assist on that. In the third quarter, the time of the goal, 1-10. And Louisville is now back to within four. <laughs> Helen Camp. Now has 14 goals on the year. And A.J. Lakowecki with the assist. Our contestant last quarter for Ohio Health Choice Plan is uh, G. Todd Zerbe. 
of Linwood Avenue in Canton. <laughs> G. Todd Zerby, you've automatically won the T-shirt for Ohio Health Choice Plan. And uh, if the Invaders score a goal in this period, you'll win the two tickets and the dinner certificate. Foul on Pikasinski, first on either team in the half. Louisville sends it ahead in the Canton zone, but uh, Tobin takes it away there. Ahead to Pikasinski, Rudy right side at midfield against Cato along the boards. Back to Tobin, taken away by Hayes. Louisville on the attack. Tobin inside, and a shot wide by Hayes. And Caleb Surrey has the rebound out in the right corner, back out at the red line. And the feed from Bakhtiari is steered in by Amlong, knocked away by Namoski. And Cato had it knocked away by Paxos, and here come the invaders on the attack. Mike Paxos through the midfield circle, ahead to Kia over to Pikasinski. Rudy sweeps it back to Tobin, one touch right back to Rudy on the right side. Rudy, a couple of steps in on Bakhtiari, and Bakhtiari with a deflection, and Hayes will come the other way for Louisville. Pop it back off the boards to Cato. Cato, red line left side, now across midfield. Tries to get it inside Paxos. Didn't get it around the boards far enough, and Paxos able to clear in the goal box for Domofsky. Tim Tima comes out with it, and he tried to lead it ahead for Rudy and knocked it out of play. 12.45 to play in the third quarter. Invaders 6, Louisville 2. Only goal of the second half so far belongs to Louisville. Helen Camp scored it. Invaders piled up a 6-0 lead early. Louisville's come back with two. But Canton still with a reasonably comfortable lead of 6-2. to two. Giannis Mahalik to put the ball in play for the Thunder. Left side at midfield. We need a goal for our contestant this quarter. <laughs> G. Todd Zerby. We need an invader goal, to be more specific. Here is Amlong in the Canton end, and he very nearly put that one through the roof. And it goes out of play. Goal kick for the invaders. Bill Namofsky to put it in play for Canton. The invaders lead by four, six to two. Important thing if you're Louisville now is not necessarily to come back and win this, but they at least want to make it respectable. 4,023 at the Civic Center tonight. Good crowd. Good to see it. Namofsky lead in. They wanted Maurer. Maurer has it. Outside the corner. Leaves it for Kramer. Artie winds, fires, and Lakowiecki lost the ball. It's loose. Knocked away by Moyers. And here comes Mahalik the other way. Lakowiecki, there's a sliding play by Pizzano to take it back to Moyers. Moyers, he shoots, and it's wide to the right, and the rebound comes out behind Steve Maurer, and Caleb Suri sends it across at the Canton red line. It's Hayes. Hayes trying to move around Pizzano. Shot blocked by Kondrich, and it's over the glass and out of play. 11.50 <laughs> to play in the third period. Canton 6, Louisville 2. Kia, Kramer, Rudy Pikasinski, Moyers, Paxos, and Tobin for Canton. And it's been uh, Moise Suri and Helen Camp scoring for Louisville. Let's hear it for the Invaders. Louisville to put it in play from right where the curve of the board starts on the left side of the Canton defensive end. Helen Camp, pass blocked by Moyers, and Gabera's wall feed knocked away. Kick saving a beauty by Namoski off the shot by Gabera. And an obstruction foul on Helen Camp as he got in the way of Moyers. Eleven forty-two to play in the third period. Here comes Maurer into the Canton end, working on Moise Surrey. He got Kramer. He fires wide to the right side. Maurer and Surrey chase after the rebound, and Maurer deposited Surrey to the turf, and that was good for the second foul. This is Chris Helen Camp coming out of the defensive zone for Louisville. Ahead to Savick, right side it goes to Mahalik. Long lead for Gabera, whipped on the shot. Pisano tries to clear, can't do it. Gabera's got it up in the air. Kia heads it over the glass and out of play. Louisville wanted a two-minute call. They don't get it. That was just a heads-up play by Kia. They might have called it if the keeper had done that. Since uh, Kia was not allowed to use his hands, he'll give him a little more discretion in that. 11.20 to play in period number three. And the Invaders lead by four, six to two. Helen Camp to put it in play from the right corner for Louisville. It's Helen Camp, Cato, Savick, Bakhtiari, and Cabrera. Tima, Paxos, 
Tobin, Pikasinski, and Kia. They get it to Savick, and Savick knocked it in the stage. Goal kick, Canton. They had kind of a gadget play set up. They had the four guys lined up just inside the red line instead of around the box, and then they all broke. But uh, Savick didn't get much on the shot, and what he did was in the form of airborne, and it'll be a goal kick for the invaders. And uh, we thank the one young lady. We wished a happy birthday in the first half. Somebody just sent me a piece of birthday cake up here. And we'll get to that as soon as we're off the air. Believe me, Mike Paxo shovels it ahead. In the Louisville end, back to Ari in the corner, clears to Savick. Savick picked up at the red line, and Gabera had the ball knocked away by Tima. But Cato controls in midfield for Louisville. Now back to Ari, left side of the circle. Keo on him on defense. Paxos intercepts the ball in the Canton end, trying to get inside Gabera. Does, feeds it in the box to Namoski. Billy looks long upfield and then throws short left side to Tim Tima. Savick on him, back to Namoski. And Namoski clears to midfield. Pikasinski trying to get around Cato. Now drops it back and Savick took the ball away. Savick ahead, Gabera in the corner. Gabera working on Paxos, trying to come outside with it. And Gabera takes it out to the left point now. Dumps it inside for Savick. Tima with a deflection. And they clear it up to Tobin. Tobin sends it out close to the red line. And Cato ends up with it there. Cato back out to midfield. Sends it in wide to the right of the net. Helen Camp feeds. Savick shoots. And a good play out front. I think Tima got a piece of that to deflect it away. Namaski got some of it too. Here comes Tima up the right side. Timmy on the dead run into Louisville in. Wanted Rudy with a pass. Back to Yari deflected. And they lead it ahead to Savick on the run at the other end. Savick shoots. Kick saving a beauty by Namaski. Here's Helen Camp with a follow deflected by Kia. In the corner. Back to Yari. Ball taken away by Paxos. Mike Paxos up the right side of the floor for the Invaders. Helen Camp picks him up as they cross midfield. Paxi across the floor for Kia. Kia in the middle. He shoots. It's blocked by Cato. And deflected out to midfield to Zoran Savick. Savick on the right side across the Canton red line. Tobin back pedals on D. Savick shot wide to the left. Rebound comes out behind Gabera. Kia beat back to Yari to the ball, but back to Yari got Bill both feet on it. His shot wide on the post. Helen Camp with a follow blocked by Paxos. Helen Camp and Paxos fight in the corner, and Paxos gets whistled for the hold. And that will be the third foul on the Invaders in the period. 9-12 to play in the third quarter. Canton 6, Louisville 2. Thunder getting much, for, much more in the way of offensive pressure at this point than they did at any time in the first half. So far, they have only one goal to show for it. Helen Camp pass deflected by Rudy. Kia dumps it back in the corner for Tobin. Long lead. They got Pekosinski on the left side of the floor at midfield. Rudy trying to get between a couple of guys. Off his chest, deflected. And but Tobin sends it ahead, but Savick controls. However, Tobin was fouled by Helen Camp after he made the pass. That'll be the second foul on Louisville. 8.58 to play in the third quarter. Maurer off the bench, right side at midfield for Canton. Kramer clears to the right. He feeds to Artie. Ball knocked away by, <coughs> by excuse me, by Caleb Surrey, but Condrich gets it back. Como up the middle, tried to feed Rudy. Off his heel and out of play. And it'll be a goal kick for Louisville. I even got a candle in my birthday cake. There you go. You got a match, anybody? <laughs> I know there's a line that follows that, but I don't want to hear it right now. I got your mic turned off anyway, McDowell. Come on, I'll let you have a good seat now, and you're sitting here making fun of me. You nasty boy, you. 8.36 to play in the third quarter. Surrey midfield gets ahead to brother Moise Surrey. His shot wide, followed by Amlong wide to the left. Maurer got inside of one man. Moise Surrey shoots and scores his second goal of the night on the rebound. And all of a sudden, Louisville back to within three. It's a 6-3 game with 8.24 to play in the third quarter. And very quietly, Louisville starting to creep back into this. Time of the goal, 6.36. Trevor Dawkins wants a timeout. Thank you, Susie. We appreciate that. Moise Surrey got the goal. Caleb Surrey got the assist, so the brother combination works for Louisville's third goal of the night, and they've cut the Invader lead in half. It was 1-6-0. Now it's 6-3. In the Louisville end, Cato trying to come out with it for Louisville. Gets it ahead. Here comes Hayes. They run on the other end. Hayes shoots. Kick save dandy by Namoski. 
And Caleb Surrey knocks it up over the glass and out of play. The Invaders will have a goal kick. The intensity level seems to have been turned down a couple of notches for Canton in this half. You hate to see that happen, but in a way, it's almost inevitable when you get up 6-0 as quickly as they did. 8-11 left in the third quarter. Namoski short outlet the team. And now back in the box to Billy. And Namoski will come out with it. Now he'll pick it up, though. Stay in the box. And now he will put it on the floor and come out. Left side at the red line to Tima. Tima lets Hayes clear by and now tries to put a move on Amlong. Does. Fires it into the box. Lakaweki caught it on the fly. And he'll have a three-line violation as he threw the lead ball too far for Hayes at the other end. So we'll take it back to the Louisville red line with 7.45 to play in the period. The Invaders lead 6-3. to three. Don Tobin to put it in play for Canton. Toby, left side of the point to Tima. Down to the corner on that side to Pikasinski. Back to the net on Cato. Rudy crosses with Toby. Toby with the ball. Airborne to the right side. Kia on the run in the corner with Bakhtiari. Kia get, <laughs> gets it out on the point to Mike Paxos. And Paxos backs it up in the Canton end to Mosky. Midfield to Tima. The Invaders will go end to end. Tima, move around back to the yard. Wants to feed inside. It's knocked free. Surrey heads it out. Paxos keeps it in. Paxos, right side in the corner for Tobin. Tobin trying to get it out. Ball knocked away. And Caleb Surrey runs into Tobin. Tobin gets called for the trip. Surrey ran up his back and they called Toby for the trip. Fourth foul on Canton. That's really the first, what I would really call a questionable call we've had all night, though. These guys have done a pretty good job. So I'm not going to complain. 7.02 to play in the third quarter. Lakaweki with the ball on the floor. A.J. outside the red line. Long lead. Once Amlong in the corner. Tima and Amlong fight for it. Loose. Out front. Namoski knocked it away. Kia heads it out to midfield. Cato will chase it down there for Louisville. Tapped it behind back to Yari. And Lakaweki's got to come out of the box to get this one. Knocks it to back the yard. Kia took it away. Here we go. Kia with Rudy in the corner. Rudy wants Kia on the give and go. He didn't get the ball to him. They take it back in the corner. Rudy, Kia out front. He winds and fires and hit the scoreboard in the far end. <laughs> well, Helen Camp put one up there earlier, and Kia really got under that one. I think there's got to be something on the front of that scoreboard because he hit those lights square. That one at that end used to be in a hockey rink somewhere. There's got to be some kind of protection on that because hockey pucks can do more damage than soccer balls. 6.27 to play in the third quarter. Invaders 6, Louisville 3. Lackawacky coming out with it. Midfield, long feed. They want... Uh, Savick, they get Gabera instead, but Gabera lost the ball to Art Kramer. Kramer, move away from Helen Camp and dumps it back in the box for Namofsky. Billy picks it up, holds on, lets some traffic clear out. Now back on the floor, and Namofsky clears midfield, headed back in by Gabera. Kondrich controls for the invaders, and back in the box again for Namofsky. Namofsky scoops it up, long lead, wants Kramer at midfield. Artie lets it go past him, and it'll be... Uh, a fight in the corner. It squirts in the box. Lackawacky outlet midfield to Helen Camp. Louisville on the attack. They got Gabera. And Gabera shoots and scores. And it's a two-goal game. Now, Mosky tried to kick it away and didn't get all of it. That left Billy on the floor. Gabera put it in, and it's 6-4. And we still got 5.42 to play in the third quarter. Time of that goal will be 9-18, and Louisville is right back in it. They've scored four straight goals, three of them in this period. Zoran Savick will get the assist on Jim Gabera's 20th goal of the season. And for Savick, it is his 15th assist. And the Invader lead that was 1-6-0 has now been cut to 2. 6-4 to four, Canton. The bottom just seems to have dropped out of the Invader's intensity level here in this half. Condridge ahead. Maurer trying to get inside a man. He and Moise Suri go down. Maurer gets the foul. Five on Canton and now one more would put them in a power play. And there's five and a half minutes to go in the quarter. And the Canton and Condridge pushes it ahead to Maurer. 
Maurer for Kramer. Kramer had it knocked away by Hellenkamp. Gabera, Hellenkamp shot. Now Moski with a save, didn't hold on to the rebound though. But Pisano clears it back in the box and this time Billy does hold on. 5-17, third quarter. Long lead. Steve Moyers, midfield, taps it back to Kramer. Artie ahead for Maurer. Maurer and Moise Suri fight for in the corner and Suri able to clear it in the box to Lakaweki. Lakaweki, long lead, Gabera. Pisano knocks it away, there's the sixth foul. Dangerous play called on Pisano and the Invaders will go down a man. Louisville will go on the power play. Their first power play opportunity of the night. As the Invaders commit the sixth foul. So this power play would give Louisville an opportunity to cut the Invader lead down to just one. We've still got better than a quarter to play. 9.58 the time of the penalty. Invader penalty killers, 10 goals allowed in 45 attempts, 78%. And the Louisville power play has been anemic this year. I don't understand how you can have as many talented players as they do. 8% is all they've scored on power plays this year. Just three power play goals in 34 attempts on the season for Louisville. That's dead last in the league. But it doesn't matter what they've done before. If they do something now, they could get to within one in this game. Savick down in the corner. Outside, Savick out front. Helen Camp shot, headed up. It's loose out front and Condridge controls. And you've got a handball, I think, on Louisville. And that'll give it to Canton. That's the third foul on the Thunder. Minute six left in the penalty. 4.38 in the quarter. Namofsky with the ball out front. Billy scoops it up. High, long ball. It'll come down just shy of the red line, so it's legal. Helen Camp clears it back in the Louisville goal box for Lakaweki. Outlet to Cabarrett, and now Helen Camp up the left side of the floor at midfield. Across the invader red line, you've got Mahalik back outside to Helen Camp. And now on the right point to Savick, shot blocked by Kondrich. Mahalik's follow is wide and Condridge controls the rebound. Tomo on the run left side, clears it off the sideboards, out to midfield and down in the thunder end. And Kramer knocked it away. Lakaweki gets it back ahead to Savick. 54 seconds in the penalty. Savick to Gabera. Gabera lost it for a second, moves to the left side out front. His shot blocked by Tima, again blocked by Tima, and it goes over the glass and out of play. Tima, the league leader in blocked shots. He had 10 in the game a couple of uh, six days ago in Chicago. And Mahalik will go out of the power play. Hayes will come in. They have a little more scoring punch with him in there. They have 45 seconds left in the penalty. 347 in the quarter. Helen Camp down in the corner. And Hayes centering pass blocked by Tima. Back out front. Frick knocked it away. And Amlong can't clear it. Tima can't clear it. Now he does around Hayes, but Hayes gets it back, and Helen Camp out front with it. Right side feeds Savick. He winds, he fires, no. And Frick can't control the rebound. Gabera got a weak shot off. The follow, no. Shot blocked by Tima. They wanted a handball, but no, he got him right in the chest. There was no handball there. Kramer ahead to Frick. Here we go with 17 seconds. Frick fires, shot. Lakowecki bobbled the rebound and then held on. And they push it ahead. 12 seconds in the penalty. Savick across the red line, right side in the Canton zone. And here's Frick with a steal again. And Frick tries to get around Hayes. He's taken down by Hayes. And that'll be the fourth foul on Louisville with only three seconds left in the penalty. Now Frick ahead off the boards behind Kramer. The penalty is over. And here comes Moyers back on the floor for Canton. So the Invaders have killed it off. And now with 2.55 left in the period, Louisville sets up to attack even up. Savick outside the red line. And the ball intercepted by Pisano, dumps it ahead. Knocked away from Frick, and he's taken down by Surrey, no call. And Gabera out front, feeds Surrey on the left side. Moyers on D. Surrey in and right into the chest of Namoski. Namoski, long lead for Moyers. They got a two-on-one if they hurry. Moyers for Frick. Frick left side, he shoots, good sir. Lakowecki was outside the box, no call. And now they get, Lakowecki was three feet outside the box with his hand on the ball, and they didn't call it. Steve Frick is living, and I don't blame him. They did get the fifth foul call on Louisville. So with 2.28 left, they would have a, a power play if Louisville commits another foul. But Lakowecki was way outside the box with his hands on that ball, and they didn't call it. 
He was flat on the ground, three, four feet outside the box. 6-4 Invaders. They led it one time, 6-0. 228 left in the period. Frick looks outside. Pisano winds, fires into the corner on the right side. Rebound out to Condrich. Condrich inside for Moyers. Moyers, wall pass, comes out behind everybody. Pisano trying to keep it in. He and Savick fight for it, and Savick comes up with it at midfield. Savick picked up by Condrich. Ridden away, shot, score! 6-5, the goal for Louisville, scored by Gary Amlaw. And Louisville has scored five straight goals to cut the lead to one. Time of the Amlong goal, 12.50. Four straight in this period. And we got us a game all of a sudden. And now all of a sudden that 30 game home field winning streak, which looked almost certain to go to 31. Now it's not so sure. Tobin, long lead for Pikasinski. Cato heads it in. Rudy took it away and just hit it wide to the left side. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. And we still don't have a goal for our contestant. G. Todd Zerbe. Boy, the Invaders could use one. Not just for you, but to get themselves back in gear here now. We've seen four straight goals by Louisville in this quarter. Five straight overall in the game. Tobin to Kia. Kia. Back to the net and taps it outside to Tima. Tima into Rudy in a corner for Tobin. Tobin trying to get it inside, rejected by Surrey. And Toby still looking for position inside. Up in the air, he wants Kia. Lakowacki punches it out. He might have been outside the box on that one, too. They clear it out to midfield. And Paxos able to bounce it into Namaski. Namaski clears it back out. Tobin heads it to the right. And Rudy, off his head once, controls it with his foot on the ground. And there's the sixth foul as Cato gets called for holding. So the Invaders will go on the power play now. They have failed on their two previous power plays tonight, despite the fact they've got six goals on the board. Now they have a minute 31 left in this period. So it would go into the fourth if they don't score. The time of the penalty is 13.29 on the sixth foul call which was really kind of a dumb foul on Cato because he was not in any great danger of any offensive movement happening there. He really didn't have to grab him, but he did anyway. And so the Invaders go a man up. They are 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. And Louisville is 0 for 1. They will have it for the rest of the period if they don't score, and then for the first 29 seconds of the fourth. Tobin. Red line, left side, Maurer. Maurer looks inside, and the ball knocked away by back the yard. He hit the referee outside. Pisano heads it to Tobin. Tobin on the run. Right side to Key. A minute 15 in the quarter. We'll keep the quarter time because the penalty runs longer. Pisano, left side. Maurer. Back to Tobin. A minute six. Toby winds, fires, loose out front. And Lakowecki just able to sweep that out to midfield before Rudy arrived. And here comes Tobin. Right side, Pisano. 55 seconds. Pisano winds, fires. That one hits the top of the glass and goes out of play. And it'll be a goal kick for the Thunder with 53 seconds left in the third quarter. The Invaders built up a 6-0 lead in the first half, and they've almost blown it. They've given up five of them back, and it's 6-5. 53 seconds left in this quarter. Invaders in the power play. And Lakowecki dumps it long, headed into the Canton end. Maurer has it back there. Maurer trying to get away from Gabera and rolls it in the goal box for Namofsky. Canton on the power play. 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. Tobin through the midfield circle. Ahead to Rudy. Back to Don Tobin. Back to Rudy. And the right side, Kia. He shoots just wide. Maurer on the rebound. Forced out in the corner by Gabera. And they come back out front to Tobin on the point with 25 seconds in the period. Toby moves left to right. Now on the point to Pisano on the right side. Tobin, now left side to Maurer, and back to Tobin. 16 seconds. Rudy posted up out front, knocked away by Surrey. Pisano chases it down at midfield and taps it over to Tobin. Only nine seconds left in the third quarter. Down in the quarter, Maurer shoots, knocked away by Bakhtiari. Four seconds, they center, Bakhtiari took it away. 2-1, that is the end of the third quarter. A quarter in which Louisville outscored Canton four to nothing, and the Invaders lead cut to just one with a final 15 minutes. Canton will go in leading. Six to five, and unfortunately, we apologize to our contestant, G. 
Gitat Zerbe. Hundred four fifths of it. So now they have to try to hang on and keep that home field winning streak, winning streak intact. Lakowiecki has helped. He's only given up one goal since he came in. But in fairness to Victor Petroni, Lakowiecki has not had to work half as hard as Petroni did. The power play unit on the field for Canton. Kia, Pekosinski, Maurer, Tobin, and Pisano. They'll attack from our left to our right. Cabrera, Hayes, Caleb Surrey, and Bakhtiari are the penalty killers for Louisville. And we have to get the door closed at the far end. They just drove the, the little car back out. Got to wonder uh, how much Louisville has left, too. Remember, they had to go into overtime against Fort Wayne last night. And then they had to travel, well, the Invaders had to travel back from Toledo, too, but Louisville had to go a lot further. Here we go. Power play for Canton. Pisano, the right side. 17 seconds of the penalty. Pikasinski taps it back out to Oscar. Now Tobin, left corner for Maurer. And back to Tobin, eight seconds. Pisano, couple of steps in. Back to Toby. Toby, middle of the floor to Rudy, to Maurer. Maurer, one move, he shoots, blocked. And it's loose in the corner. Amlong back on the floor, the penalty is over. And they clear it to Amlong, and it's behind him. And Pisano dumps it back in the goal box for Namofsky. Billy outside the box when he took the pass, clears it ahead to Tobin. Tobin left side at midfield. And here comes Maurer. Maurer winds, fires, hit the post. Kia rebound, blocked by Lakowiecki. Great play by Lakowiecki to react and get up for Kia. And we've got a foul on Savick as he held Kia. And that's the first one on Louisville. We played 53 seconds of the fourth quarter. The Invaders lead by one, six to five. Don Tobin to put it in play for Canton. Right side in the Thunder defensive zone. Invaders have not scored in this half after building a 6-0 lead in the first half. Now it is 6-5. Next home game, a week, a week from last night, next Friday night against Chicago. In the corner for Rudy. Rudy tries to heal it. It's knocked away. <laughs> Hayes came close to putting that in his own net, and Lakowiecki came down with it. Of course, if Hayes hadn't done that, it would have been going in about the same spot from Rudy, only a whole lot faster. Here is Surrey, knocked away by Tima. And Tima dumps it ahead. Helen Camp takes it back at midfield for Louisville. Pikasinski on defense with him. Back the Ari midfield circle. And his pass is knocked away by Fasano. And Rudy tries to clear, but Savick Savic gets it back at midfield. 13.30 left to play. Long lead. Helen Camp leaves it. And Amlong tried to clear to Helen Camp, but Fasano comes the other way for Camp. Oscar airborne for Kia. Kia's got Rudy wide open on the left side, and Bakhtiari blocked the pass. They try to clear it out. Kia gets it back and shovels it into Pisano. Helen Camp knocked it away. Oscar's going to get two minutes for holding as he kind of grabbed a headlock on Amlong, and there isn't a whole lot of question about that call. So Pisano will sit down for two minutes on the holding call, and Louisville, which failed on their first power play, will get another chance. Time of the penalty, 151. And this time, if Louisville scores, they could tie the game. Eleven, uh, well, 11 is when the penalty runs out. 13.09 left to play. Holding call on Pisano will give Louisville the man advantage. Imperative that the fun bunch does their job here. Here comes Helen Camp with Savick at midfield. And now in the Canton zone, Helen Camp left point, fires wide. Gabera couldn't get the follow. Savick does. Amlong with a tip, it goes wide. Savick dumps it in for Gabera, but Tima tries to head it away. And Tima took the ball away from behind. Savick into double team. And Tima goes down, holding call against Zoran Savick. And that's the second foul on Louisville. 
Kondrich dumps it over to Namoski. Namoski outside the net, sends it too far. Three-line violation will bring it back to the Invader red line. And we have uh, a minute and 33 seconds in the penalty. Here's Helen Camp in the left corner. Centering ball knocked away by Tima Gabera. Shot score by Amlong. The game is tied. Louisville has scored six straight goals. Amlong power play goal. Gabera will get the assist. And we got a 6-6 game. Amlong tipped it in. Time of the goal, 2:27, And Gabera picks up the assist. Amlong's second goal of the night. In fact, his second straight goal. And the power play for Louisville ties the game at 6-6. At one point, the Invaders led 6 to nothing, And Louisville has come roaring back. 12-33 left in the game. And it's just like starting over again now. The Invaders have got to find that edge they had in the first half and get it back. It has not been here in this half. Pikasinski down in the corner for Tobin in the Louisville defensive end. Ball knocked away from behind by Caleb Surrey. Taken by Hayes for Louisville. Ahead to Bakhtiari. The Thunder on the run. They attack four on three. Bakhtiari winds, fires, blocked by Paxos. Followed by Hayes, blocked by Kia. Tobin coming up the floor with it for the Invaders. Tobin left side at midfield. Ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy working on Cato. Cato trying to spin out front. Ball knocked away. Double team. And we got a holding call against Cato. Third foul on Louisville. The Invaders will put it in play from the left side of the box. 12-0-1 left in the game. We're tied at 6-6. Tobin to put it in play for the Invaders. Toby to Paxos. He fires. It's blocked and goes out of play. Hayes with a block. And it'll be a corner kick now for Canton from the left side. Again, Tobin will be the trigger man. Crowd has been very, <laughs> very quiet. Out front, Kia whiffed on the shot. Back to Yari clears. Here comes Louisville, three on two. And Hayes lost the ball to Tima. And ahead it comes to Pikasinski. Now Kia and back to Toby. Toby around one. Lakowecki's out of the net. The ball's loose. Lakowecki got back and found it. 11.38 left in the game. A.J. Lakowecki puts it on the floor and gets it ahead to Cato. Cato being hounded by Kia. Kia took the ball away, pushes it over on the right side. Tobin can't get there. Gabera dumps it back, and Surrey will come up for Louisville. Surrey, back edge of the midfield circle. Bad pass taken away by Tima. And Tima forward for Kia. Kia drops it back in the Canton zone to Mike Paxos. And in the goal box, Namofsky outlet Paxos. Paxos on the left side, ahead to Tima at the red line. And Timmy on the run at midfield. Cabrera with him, step for step. Right side feed to Maurer. Maurer on Cato, down in the uh, Louisville defensive zone. And back to Tima. 11 minutes left in the game. We're tied 6-6. Cabrera with a push on Tima. And that's the fourth foul on Louisville. That could be big. No fouls on Canton. Four on Louisville. They have only one to give in 10-58. Rudy in the corner. Off his chest for Maurer to Tobin out front. Toby takes to the left side. Maurer clears to the front of the box. And Rudy is working down on the post. Tobin taken down in the corner. And you're going to get two minutes on Saeed Bakhtiari for holding on Tobin. Toby was lucky. I thought they were going to give him two for retaliating, but they didn't. And the Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 4-15. Canton is 0-3 for 3 with a man advantage in the game. And it is Caleb Surrey that gets the penalty. Not back the Ari. Two-minute holding call. And so now the Invaders, with the foul situation, could get another one. But right now they have to concern themselves with the man advantage they have. They are 0 for 3. The game is tied 6-6. Canton led 6-0. Louisville scored six in a row to tie the game up. Tobin to put it in play from the left side. He clears to Pisano out of the red line. Down in the corner to Maurer. Maurer to Pikasinski. Knocked away by Bakhtiari. And Pisano has it back at the red line. Oscar, a couple of steps in on the left side to Tobin. Back to Pisano. And he moves to the right side to Kia. And back to Oscar again. 
Lozano a couple of steps ahead. Now Tobin. And now Pizano, all shot, blocked out front by Cato. And we have a minute and a half left in the penalty. The ball went into the Invader bench out of play. Tobin will put it in play, left side at midfield. Game is tied, 6-6. 10-10 left to play. We're in the fourth quarter. Pizano left side to Maurer, back to Tobin. And now Pizano. Oscar, middle of the floor at the red line, right side down in the corner to Kia, back to Oscar out front. And now Kia, Kia trying to get around him, man. We have a minute eight left of the penalty. Pisano to Tobin, Tobin around one, back to Pisano. He winds, he fires, no. Rebound bounced out behind Maurer in the corner. He chases it out and feeds it outside to Tobin. And now 51 seconds left in the man advantage. Kia fires, no, Maurer scores! Backdoor play to Steve Maurer. The Invaders back on top, 7-6. Maurer the goal. His third team. Kia the assist, his second of the night, and he now has 16 on the year. Time of the goal, 5:29. It's a power play goal for Maurer. And the Invaders get the lead back 7-6. And ladies and germs, that one was a long time coming. It is not time to breathe a sigh of relief yet. I'll tell you that right now. Wackawacki sends it ahead for Savick off his chest. And Moise Suri dumps it over. And coming up the floor with it will be Mahalik. Shot... <laughs> Blocked by Pisano. Mahalik heads it in for Savick, but Condrich will try to clear and does. Comes out to midfield. Hillenkamp gets it there for Louisville. Maurer with defensive pressure. Now Moise Suri. Right side of the floor at the Louisville red line. 9.03 left in the game. Invaders by one, 7-6. Caleb Suri in the Canton end. Over to Hillenkamp. Middle of the floor at the red line. Kramer on D. Maurer over to help out. They dump it down to Savick. Savick and Condrich fight there. And the holding call goes against Tomo. And that's the first foul on Canton in the period. Helen Camp to put the ball in play from the left side of the box. And a centering pass, Amlong blocked by Pisano, then deflected by Moyers. Louisville clears out to midfield. Amlong with it now, leaves it. And Moise Suri cutting inside. And he runs into Pisano. And the holding call goes against Oscar. I don't know how Oscar could hold with his back to the man. They could have called obstruction, but they certainly couldn't call holding. In any event, it's the second foul on Canton. 8.36 remaining in the game. Invaders 7, Louisville 6. Out front, Amlong shot blocked by Kramer. Artie clears to midfield, and Helen Camp chases it down there. Back up to Lakawaki in the Thunder end. Lakawaki outlet on the right side to Moise Surrey. And now here comes uh, Mahalik. Shot wide to the left, rebound Savick. Saw a ball shot and a good save by Namaski. Off the rebound shot from Amlong. He got the initial save and went straight up in the air and Billy with good concentration, able to grab it and hold on. Condrich, right side of the box to Pisano. Ball still in the Canton defensive end. Eight minutes left in the game. Now they clear it out to Tomo at midfield. Condrich on the run, it's four on three. He fires, no, rebound loose. Lakawaki just pulled it away from the right foot of Steve Mo Moyers. Pisano trying to get inside. Here comes Savick the other way. Savick in the corner, looks to center, and a shot put up in the crowd by Chris Hillenkamp, a goal kick for Canton with 7.45 left in the game. My vocal cord transplant is Monday. <laughs> On top of everything else, I'm going to be yelling my head off at the Browns game tomorrow, too, so. Namofsky to put it in play for Canton. Taps it to Tima. Back in the box to Billy. Out on the left side. Tima on the run up the right side. He got a couple of steps on Gabera. He fires. No. Hit rebound hit Rudy in the back of the heel. He couldn't find the ball until after Bakhtiari had cleared. Paxos on the run at the other end. Dumps it in for Namofsky. Billy back out in the corner for Mike Paxos. He knocks it away from Hayes. Rudy has it at midfield, and he clears it to Kia. Kia trying to get inside Cato. Pushed down by Cato, and there's the fifth foul on Louisville. 
One more would put the makers on another power play. 7.20 left in the game. Canton 7, Louisville 6. <laughs> They've had to work a lot harder for this than it looked like they were going to have to in the first half. Paxos dumps it down in the right corner for Kia. Kia trying to get inside. Centering pass. Shot. Tobin. Oh, what a play by Lakowecki. A.J. Lakowecki just got the left hand on that to tap it over the glass. And it'll be a goal kick from the right corner for Canton. Tobin, the trigger man from the right side. 7-11 left to play. Remember, Louisville with five fouls. Toby to Kia, knocked away. Tima will chase it down. And Timmy trying to get inside Hayes around a pick by Tobin. Centering pass behind Rudy, and Kia chases it down out front. Invaders keeping the heat on now, though, like they did in the first half. Paxos back in the Canton end to Mosky. Passes around Gabera ahead to Mike Paxos. Paxi up the left side of the floor. Gabera on the run. Paxi with a feed, and he got it in front of Kia. Lakawecki picked it away. Outlet to Hayes, right side midfield. Tima steps in front, took the ball away. Timmy spin move to get around the board. And Hayes able to hop back on D. And back over it comes to Don Tobin. 6.44 left in the game. Tobin ahead to Pikasinski in the Louisville end. Pikasinski working on Cato. Cato moving laterally across the floor, crosses with Kia. Kia's got the ball, but it's knocked away by Bakhtiari. And Hayes comes the other way for Louisville. Across the Canton red line, he fires. It's loose out front, and Tobin's got the rebound. Tobin with a move on Hillenkamp. Feeds on the right side at the red line to Kia. 6.21 left to play. Invaders by one, 7-6. Line change, Kramer. Ahead for Tima. Cato with a sliding play to knock it loose. And here comes Hillenkamp. Hillenkamp, bad pass, taken away by Pisano. Oscar on the run at midfield. Across the red line. Backs it away from Gabera. The Thunder back on D. And here's Kramer, right point. Artie Wines fires. It's blocked by Hayes. Hillenkamp has the loose ball at midfield for Louisville. He touches it back to Gabera. Randy Pikasinski into the game on defense now. Some good speed and some fresh legs for Canton. Helen Camp on the right side at midfield to Cato. Cato puts it forward. Kramer knocks it away. Taken back by Savick. He shoots, hit the post. And long rebound straight up in the air. And Savick and Randy in a race in the corner. And Randy trying to get it away, but Savick got the ball. Third out front. Pisano takes it away. Oscar ahead to Rudy. Rudy Pikasinski trying to get inside. Mahalik does. And he's taken down from behind by Mahalik. And that is the sixth foul. And Rudy, both fists go up in the air off that. And the Invaders will go on the man advantage with 5.29 to play. Now what started out like a blowout has suddenly become a nail biter. Time of this penalty will be 9.31. So three out of the four quarters, Louisville has been called for the six fouls. Invaders have had it called on them once. That was in the third quarter. Uh, the Invaders are one for four on the power play. Two for five would look awful good if they can convert this one. They lead by one, 7-6. 5.29 left in the game. Here's Maurer. He fires no. Rebound cleared out by Caleb Surrey. Pisano keeps it in at the red line. Now it's Tobin. He lets it go. Wide right. Kia coming back with it. As I grab my voice and gather it in. 5-10 in the game. Tobin outside the red line. Got a minute 43 left in the penalty. Here's Tobin. Left side Mauer. Back to Tobin. He winds. He fires wide. Kia on the follow. And it's knocked out of play by Bakhtiari. And the invaders will put it in. Touchline right side uh, in the curve of the boards there. In the Louisville defensive zone. A minute 24 left in the penalty. And 4.53 on the game clock. Key of the trigger man from the right side. On the power play. Out on the point to Pisano. Middle of the floor, red line, Toby. Right side to Oscar. Oscar looking for Maurer. Maurer back door in the corner. Tried to get it Rudy. The pass was behind him. Oscar winds and fires and put it in the stage. So it'll be a goal kick for Louisville with a minute 13 left in the penalty and 4.42 in the game. Wackawacki to put it in play for Louisville. Off the goal kick. 
and he sends it long and it's headed up in the air by Pisano but knocked back to Gabera. Gabera passed behind Surrey and Tobin able to control for the invaders. A minute four left in the penalty. And here comes Tobin. Don Tobin across the red line. He fires. It's blocked out front by Bakhtiari and Hayes controls for Louisville. And he'll just dump it down in the Canton end to chew some clock now. 4.17 left in the game. Shortly after this penalty ends, you might be looking for Louisville to go sixth attacker. Kia to Pisano. Now Tobin, he winds, he fires, and Lakawaki covers it up in front of the right post. 31 seconds in the penalty. Here comes Gabera in the Canton end, trying to get inside. Tobin takes it in the corner, and there's nobody for him to pass it to. Double teamed. Tobin clears, but Surrey gets it on the point. Back it up to the red line. 18 seconds left in the penalty. And here is uh, Bakhtiari at the Canton red line. Now back in the Louisville end to A.J. Lakawaki. And Lakawaki tried to send it to midfield and put it in the invader bench. Eight seconds left in the penalty as Canton will put it in play from midfield. And shortly after that, we might expect Louisville to call time. Eight seconds left in the penalty. Tozer would have been the sixth attacker earlier in the year for Louisville. And right now, it looks like it would be Saeed back the eye from the stats they have. Uh, Caleb Suri has played one game there. We know what they can do with the sixth attacker off the last time they were here. They scored two goals in the last 11 seconds to force overtime. Kia trying to get it over to Maurer, but uh, Savick will clear. Willie Maurer with a height, got position, got the head on the ball, and got it over to Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy out of a double team to Tobin, but the ball knocked away. And coming the other way is Amlong. Amlong, the middle, wants Savick. Savick in the corner. Kia goes down, back up. They feed outside to Surrey. 3.08 to play. Helen Camp on the shot, right through the box. Savick couldn't get a foot on it. Surrey got a weak shot that the Mosky handled easily. Three minutes left in the game. Pisano across the Canton red line, around Savick, around Helen Camp. I had to Rudy. Rudy shoots. No. Rebound came out behind Maurer. Savick controls for Louisville. Amlong at midfield. Back to Zor and Savick at the red line. 2.43 left to go. Invaders by one, 7 6. Savick shot deflected. It's loose. No, the whistle blew. And we've got a penalty coming up on somebody. I think Louisville had too many men on the field. That is going to be the call. Louisville had too many men on the field. And that means they're going to go down for two minutes. Or was it Canton? It was Canton that had too many men on the field because the fun bunch, the penalty killers are out there. So Louisville gets a break here. They will not only have 238, but they'll have a man advantage. Time of the penalty, 12-22. So the Thunder will have a power play. That may, excuse me, <laughs> that may keep him from pulling Lackawaki. We'll see. Gabera outside to Helen Camp at the red line. Left side to Gabera. A couple of steps in on Tima. And now back out on the right point. Savick shot. Missed Amlong on the far post. And they send it back outside to Savick again. 2.19 in the game. And Tima tries to clear. Got it to Frick. You may have a break. Steve Frick up the left side. It's two on one if they hurry. Kramer clearing up the right. He's got Kramer, and Lakawaki stepped in front of the pass. Gabera up the other way. And the pass, bad pass, knocked away. And Tima clears it back into Louisville, and two minutes left in the game, a minute 22 left in the penalty. Now, Lakawaki's coming up almost playing like a sixth attacker out at midfield. Gabera's shot, and Amlong spinning away from uh, Kondrich could not get it, and Kramer has the loose ball for Canton. Kramer around one, and can't get around Gabera as Gabera able to get position and take the ball away at midfield. A minute 40 left in the game, and that's a minute 11 now left in the penalty. Ellen Camp, Canton red line. 
Left side feed to Gabera. His shot, no. Rebound knocked away by Kondrich. And Kramer slides to shovel it out to midfield. Out front, Hayes. Shot, no. And the shot by Gabera saved by Namoski. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Billy Long lead off the head of Frick. Savick controls at the Louisville red line. Now Gabera. Minute seven left in the game. Loose down in the corner. Tima trying to get around Savick. Now reverses his field and clears it out off the left side boards. Gabera in midfield taken away by Kramer. Hardy on the break. And Gabera knocked it away from behind. 15 seconds in the penalty. And 50 now in the game. Invaders seven. Louisville six. Here comes Helen Camp. Midfield, and they're going to back it up, and they're going to pull Wackawacki. Wackawacki will take it in the box. He calls timeout with 39 seconds left. That means there are 11 seconds left in the penalty. Wackawacki will leave. Bakhtiari pulls the shirt off. He'll come in as the sixth attacker, so they'll, in effect, have two men up for 11 seconds. Louisville has 11 seconds of power play with a sixth attacker, so in effect a two-man advantage. 39 on the game clock. Now they will lose some time in the two-man advantage because Bakhtiari has to put the ball in play at their end of the floor. Oh, you're, oh I'm sorry, that's right. I'm, I'm, I missed you. There's only one second left in the penalty, so they'll only have the man advantage. They'll tap it ahead. Penalty clocks are not working in case you haven't figured that out. Okay, the penalty is over. And Pikasinski back out on the floor. And there's a steal by Tima. Tima trying to clear. Tima gets away from one. He tried to clear it to Frick. And they get it back inside. Helen Camp down in the corner. Savick shot. No, through the box. 24 seconds left in the game. And Gabera on the left side. He fires and put it in the cheap seats. 20 seconds to go. Invaders will have a goal kick with 20 seconds left in the game. And they lead by one. tell you it's been a heck of a game invaders will try to put this away here by burning up the last 20 seconds Namoski will put it in play for Kent ahead to Rudy Rudy clears to midfield and Pisano got behind his man 16 seconds they got three on the keeper Pisano to Frick he scores it's history from Oscar Pisano, nails the coffin lid shut. Oh my. 12 seconds left in the game. Woo! Six ninth goal of the year. Pisano's 14th assist. 8-6 Invaders. They will go to 14 and four. Louisville will fall to 13 and six. I'll tell you what, this Louisville team put on a valiant comeback in this game, though. 11 seconds remaining now as they'll put it in play. 12, I think they said they should have put one more second on the clock. Okay. Back to Ari midfield. Almost lost it again to Frick. Five seconds, four, three. Rudy with a shot, and he hit the post at the buzzer. It's over. The Invaders win it, eight to six. And pandemonium breaking loose from the Canton bench down below. Great game. The Invaders come out with an eight-six victory. After blowing a 6-0 lead, they score the final two. Maurer with the game winner, and Frick added the insurance goal in the fourth quarter. And we'll be back to wrap this one up in one minute.